They started the season number one in Division D. They've gone 8-0 in the Mid-State League, and they just took out Gaylord St. Mary's on the road, handing them their first loss of the season. And even with all of that amounting to yet another successful season for the Sacred Heart girls varsity basketball team, if they don't win tonight in the district round of the playoffs against Fowler, their season is over, and their fans go home for a second straight year disappointed. Well, with this group of girls, you don't have to not say much. They're very motivated, they're very determined. Um, they have a task at hand, and they want to get after it. So, you know, I think the fact that we were playing Fowler, we got a chance to watch a little bit of tape from last year to get them back motivated if they needed it. Um, but this, folk, this group is very driven, so I didn't have to say much to them. They got after it all right to a tune of 50 to 24, avenging their loss from last season. Having a big contribution in the victory were the two leaders of the team and the two sisters, Erica and Sarah Hansen. The teams are gunning for those two. They know if they can try to attempt to shut down those two, they might be able to stop us. But we've got other players on the team too that step up as well. So you know that's the exciting part is that you know we feed off Erica and Sarah, um, but we've got a lot of other good players around them that that can knock down shots and defend as well. Awaiting the Irish in the district final Wednesday night is Portland St. Patrick's, a team that has only lost three times all season. I don't believe in putting the cart before the horse. Uh, we got to take business one day at a time, and tonight we'll get focused on St. Pat's. It'll be a challenge. Like every game is a challenge now, now this season. So we're looking forward to the opportunity, and you know, we'll come ready to play.